Everybody across the country is talking about creating jobs, especially our politicians. But most career politicians haven't got the foggiest idea about running a business or creating jobs. Bottom line, we need to make it easier for small businesses to stay in business. Over the past 15 years, I've employed or created hundreds of jobs for people. I've built numerous health care projects across the state. And I pay property taxes in six Illinois counties. And there's one thing I'm certain of. Small businesses need less bureaucracy and less headaches from the state. I'll give you a couple examples. Let's take Doyle Oil Company in Ellsworth, Illinois, a town of 170 people. They've been in business for 35 years and employ five full-time people. Now, that's a lot of people in Ellsworth. They deliver fuel to farmers and repair cars and trucks and farm machinery. Due to state and federal fuel taxes, Doyle's paid more than half a million dollars in taxes last year. But because of some new laws, Doug Doyle recently had to drive over to Peoria to get fingerprinted. He had to take a test. There were questions like, quote, if you're hauling radioactive waste and carrying camera film at the same time, how far away does the film need to be kept from the radioactive waste, unquote. Now, for Pete's sake, Doyle Oil isn't going to haul any radioactive waste. And there was a big fee that Doyle Oil had to pay to take the test. It took about 25 hours of time to comply with these new laws. All of this stuff makes it harder for Doyle Oil to stay in business. It's like we're intentionally trying to run them out of business here in the state. I'll give you another example. Game Time Gym in Bloomington, Illinois. It's a youth recreational facility with basketball leagues. They hire part-time referees to ref the games. But the Illinois Department of Revenue recently cited Game Time Gym, complaining that the referees were employees as opposed to independent contractors. Why is this the case? Because if the referees are declared employees by the state, the state gets to charge Game Time Gym a payroll tax. If they're independent contractors, Game Time Gym doesn't have to pay the tax. In this case, it's about 500 bucks a year. Not a lot of money for some businesses, but for Game Time Gym, every penny adds up. <clears throat> the larger problem is the amount of paperwork for Game Time Gym. They've got to hire an accounting firm to keep track of all this stuff. Illinois needs to be friendlier to small businesses like Doyle Oil and Game Time Gym. They create jobs in downstate Illinois, lots of them. Another thing, these small businesses aren't threatening to leave the state like a couple billion dollar corporations up in Chicago. We need small businesses in Illinois.